So back in high school, I decided that I wanted to learn how to play the guitar. So I started to teach myself how to play. And part of the process is getting your hands and your fingers to operate correctly. Now this takes time. The chords that you learn how to play have your fingers in unnatural positions, which is why practicing is so important because you're trying to build muscle memory in your fingers so that you can play the guitar properly. Early on though, I would get really frustrated with myself because I couldn't play the way I knew I was supposed to. I hadn't yet developed the strength and flexibility in my hands and fingers. I knew what the end goal was and what the end sound should be like. And when I wasn't doing it right, I got real frustrated. I wasn't showing myself patience while I was in the process of learning how to play. Now our journey in life is actually very similar. We know the end goal. We know what the end should look like. We're to look and act like Jesus, but the reality is there are times when we fail, when we mess up, when we make a mistake. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably gotten super frustrated with yourself. Sometimes I think I, uh, that we can be our harshest critics and we can beat ourselves up when we don't get it right. But here's the thing, God shows us patience as we attempt to conform and be more and more like his son, Jesus. Psalm 103 verse eight says it this way, the Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. And then when you drop down to verses 13 and 14, it says, the Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. What this passage tells us is that God is patient with us because he understands that we're flawed. He understands that we're going to fail. So if God is patient with us, Shouldn't we do the same for ourselves? When we lack patience with ourselves, we're actually withholding something that God doesn't even withhold from us. Now I get it. Being patient with yourself is hard as we go through life making mistakes. And, and we're going to make mistakes. We're going to fail. But showing ourselves patience can help us get to where we need to be. It can help us get stronger and more flexible as we follow Jesus. So today, I just want to take a moment and ask God to help us extend the same patience he extends to us. I wanna ask him to guide us to a place where we can show ourselves patience. Let's pray. Father, being trapped in these flawed bodies in this fallen world can be so frustrating at times. We wanna be more like you. We know we're supposed to be more like you. And in the moments when we fail, help us to be patient with ourselves. Help us to learn from those moments so that we can continue to work on being more like you. Thank you for your patience with us and give us patience for ourselves. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen.